What's up guys? This video is basically just going to be like a battery awareness video of sorts. It came to my attention yesterday, I saw a video by Pegasus Vapor Academy. My channel was mentioned in his video because it was recommended to Pegasus by Shenzhen Yifang Technologies. They're the makers of the E-Fan batteries. So some of you may have noticed that I pulled my E-Fan battery video. The reason I pulled the video is because of some research that Pegasus did on his channel, which shows that the batteries are rewraps of a Samsung 30Q. I believe that was the battery that it matched. I didn't pull the video because the batteries are garbage, but because the packaging and labeling is misleading and it could ultimately be a potential for disaster to somebody out there. I think anytime we're presented with better evidence, such as the case with the PVA video, I have to adopt a new conclusion based on the evidence that he provided. I'm definitely not a battery expert, and I made that perfectly clear in the EFAN video that I had posted. As a consumer and a vape reviewer, I can only judge products based on my own experience and my own research. At the time I posted the video, which was in late June, I think around June 25th of 2015, the information didn't exist about whether or not these batteries were legit or rewraps. But the two weeks prior to the video I posted, my overall experience with using EFAN batteries was pretty positive. I hadn't used the batteries in like tube mechs or unregulated boxes. I only used them in regulated boxes because I was a little leery of the packaging, as you can see on the batteries right here. These are the batteries that's in question. These two batteries right here are okay. According to Pegasus' research, the 25 amp discharge is pretty accurate. These batteries right here are the issue. Right down here, it says 60 amp and a discharge of 40. Those are the batteries that had me worried before EFAN even sent them out to me. I had heard prior to this, there was other vapor reviewers that was contacted to do reviews, but they were all reluctant, and I don't think anybody else even did a review on them. But I went ahead, and after testing them, I went ahead and posted the video because I had a good experience with them. Now, granted, I wasn't doing sub ohming or anything like that on like a mech mod for example like on the prime mod that I did the video for yesterday I didn't use any of these batteries on mods like that I used them on like the IPv4 the IPv3 the Segele 100 watt and devices like that regulated devices that have chips in them that can regulate the power mm -hmm. So after they first contacted me I was a little bit worried about claims that were being made on these two batteries right here so I asked the company representative point blank whether or not their batteries were rewraps and could they send me a spec sheet, you know, to show me what the battery chemistry is and stuff like that, man. The email that they sent me back was no, in fact, their batteries are not rewraps. And then they proceeded to ask me something else. So what I want to do really quick is insert those two emails where I asked them and these are time stamped and all that. So it'll back up my story that I'm telling you here. You'll see the dates and all that kind of stuff. That way you'll know I had concerns prior to even making the video. So when they came back and told me no, I just took their word for it, which was a huge mistake, obviously, and could have ultimately ended up with me being hurt. Pegasus research showed that these are only 15 amp batteries. So they're not 60, they're not 40, they're not 25, they're 15. These batteries should not be being used in vaping, period, as far as I'm concerned. Not even in a regulated device. I don't recommend these batteries at all. These two over here are fine. In my personal opinion, because this company lied, I want nothing to do with their products. And in fact, I'm throwing these four batteries in the garbage. If there's anything I can't stand about a human being, it's a human being that lies. I can't tolerate that stuff. So anyway, here's the emails really quick. I knew the 60 amp claim on the pink top IMR 18650s was nonsense. Or at least I had a pretty good idea that it was nonsense. So that led me to asking them for their spec sheet in the first place. And even though I've been vaping for 16 months at this point, 
somewhere in that area 15 16 months it wasn't until recently that i found out that batteries are only made by like five major companies if i'm not mistaken those companies include lg sony samsung panasonic and MNKE. I think in most cases, the other batteries that we find on the market with uh, different labels and different claims and things like that are just rewraps of batteries made by the companies I just mentioned. I don't know how many of you know this or not, but I have a Bachelor of Science in Software Engineering, so being a man of science, I follow the facts. Based on Pegasus's research, I trust that the graph that he shows is pretty accurate. Obviously, the testing that he's able to do, I am not able to do. So I do trust what Pegasus has to say about these batteries. And I do believe that they are, in fact, a Samsung 30Q. I believe that's what it was. So I don't recommend these batteries to be used by anyone. And in fact, like I said, if the information that Pegasus provided is, in fact, correct, I'm not happy with Shenzhen Yifang Technology Company at all. It's just bad business to misrepresent a product that you're putting out there that can potentially hurt people. And I will also add that companies like this and that have practices such as these, they don't last. When you flat out lie about your product and word gets around in the vape community, or even worse, someone gets injured, you're done, man. Your company is over. Shenzhen Yifang has only been in business since 2009, so they might seriously want to consider changing their business practices. One thing is for certain, they shouldn't be selling batteries to vapors. Thanks, Pegasus, for the research that you do, man. I appreciate it. Good looking out on that one. I just wish you would have contacted me. My video went out on like the 25th of June, and your video went up on like July 12th, so about two or three weeks later. So I wish you would have contacted me and let me know so I could have taken my video down much sooner. But as it stands, the video is gone. So whatever you guys do, please don't buy these batteries. To my subscribers, I'm sorry. I apologize to you guys. I was only going by my own experience with these batteries. If you're going to buy batteries, just buy something from LG, Sony, Samsung, Panasonic, MNKE. Follow what other vapors are doing, man, and, and just buy like the HE2s, HE4s from LG, or I think they even have some new ones out now, or the Sony VTC3s, 4s, or 5s. They're back in circulation again. Or if you're uncertain about any of it, just buy Samsung 25Rs and be done with it. But when it comes to batteries such as these right here, just bypass them and forget about it. I won't be doing reviews for batteries anymore when it comes to these particular types of batteries. That's pretty much it. So that's what I got for you guys. Take care, man. Till next time.